Hello, and welcome to the 10th episode of Simply Electronics Basics. In this episode, we're going to have a look at breadboards, what they're about, and how to use them. So to start off with, breadboards are an easier alternative to soldering. A breadboard is just a really, really easy and straightforward platform for prototyping and building circuits without having to uh, mess around with soldering irons and circuit board design. So we're going to have a look into how breadboards work. So if we take a closer look here at the breadboard, this is how the connections work. The rows going down ways are electrically common. And I'll show this with an illustration um, overlaid on top. These rows are all connected together. An individual column is electrically commoned together. So this column here is all one uh, connection which also means that the column next to it is not connected to the column to the left or right. And that's the same for all of these columns here. To connect one column to another, we actually have to use some wire. So if I put a piece of wire in one column and another column, I have now made a connection between these two columns. So these two columns are now electrically common with each other. And it's very useful to know how these are connected because it allows you then to go on and create series circuits or parallel circuits. And on most, if not all breadboards, there is also two other connections on the side or the top, depending on which orientation you have it at. And those are the power rails. So these rails are across here, all electrically common, unless you have a break on the illustration there, which, which means that between this, these breaks, this side is not common with this side. And you can see that there is one label negative and one label positive. So when I'm actually connecting power to these rails, I will connect the negative into the negative rail and the positive into the positive rail. So the top row is actually isolated from the bottom row here. Uh, and you can see that by the line going across here, showing that this is the negative and it's electrically common and the line going across the top there, which is showing that this top row is positive and that's electrically common. But given that this is broken, it gives us the option to either bridge it and have it make it all electrical common, or we can run a, um, a second power supply and even a third and fourth power supply onto the same breadboard. So there are many different uses for it. To get started with a breadboard, um, you need some kind of jumper wire. And jumper wires are basically breadboard compatible wires that allow you to make connections across the breadboard. Bear in mind, you, you can actually just make your own jumper wires out of preferably solid core wire with a thickness compatible with the holes in the breadboard. And I'll make a little LED circuit just so you can see how everything works. Now, I'm actually powering the circuit board off an Arduino here, which is just a five volt power supply. And again, I've connected the positive and negative to the power rails of my breadboard. So this rail is now live at five volts. Now, bear in mind, you need to know the uh, polarity of any polarized component that you will be using. An LED is polarized, meaning it has a positive and negative. Um, the positive side is the one with the longer leg or the LED will have a flat side to show you which side is negative. So to connect the LED, I've noted which side is the positive, it's the longer leg, and I'm gonna keep that on the left. So I'm gonna put the positive leg into this side of the board and the negative into that side. So they are now in two different columns. And because they're in those two different columns, uh, electricity will not flow between the columns. The electricity has to flow through this column along the LED and to the second column. The second thing I need is a resistor. So I have here a 100 ohm resistor or thereabouts. I'm gonna connect one side of the resistor to the same column where the negative of the LED is connected. So it's in the same column and the second leg of the resistor, what I'm actually gonna do is just put it round here and connect it to the negative rail of our power supply. So you can see now I've got a resistor coming from the negative rail going to the same column as the negative lead of the LED. And what I now need to do is connect another wire to the same column as the positive of the LED, which 
I've just connected it behind so you can see the LED. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the other end of the wire to the positive rail of the uh, breadboard. And there we go, you can see now that the LED is lit. So I've got my power coming from the Arduino here. And the negative is connected to this resistor. The power is flowing through this resistor to the negative lead of the LED. It's going through the LED, out to the positive lead of the LED, round, and to the positive rail of the breadboard. What I'm gonna do now is actually add some more LEDs to this, and we're gonna add them in parallel. Noting the polarity that I place the LEDs in the circuit board, I'm gonna keep the positive on the left. So there we go, I've got my extra two LEDs in place. So I now need to add uh, the extra wires to make the parallel circuit. So I'm just going to connect another wire to the positive rail of the uh, board, and then to the positive of another LED. Then I'm going to take another resistor and connect the resistor to the negative of our second LED and then back to the negative of the power rail. And there we go, another LED has lit, as you can see there. We've got uh, a yellow LED lit now. So I'm just gonna do the same with the last LED. I'm gonna connect another wire to the positive rail and then the other end to the positive side of the LED. And then I'm gonna get another resistor and connect that to the negative uh, of the LED and then to the negative power rail. And there you have it, three LEDs connected in parallel um, on our breadboard. I will be doing some more videos on the breadboard as I show you how to build different circuits. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave any comments or questions below and subscribe for more.